Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video of me taking this broomstick and I'm going to turn it into a practice rapier. Now for those of you who don't know, the rapier is the European sword that you know has a guard right here like that. You put your finger through the guard, it's a straight blade, it's a pointed blade primarily for thrusting, and it was in, used in a lot of old uh, Shakespeare plays, for example, like Romeo and Juliet. They used swords like that. I believe even the Three Musketeers used rapiers or something similar to it. I'm not sure about the, all the lengths and all that, but uh, don't worry. For anyone who's worried, I'm not going to be stopping Japanese swordsmanship. I still love Japanese swordsmanship. I love using them. I love customizing them and all that. But I just want to have a little bit of fun and do some Western swordsmanship as well. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start on this project. Now, I was looking it up online, and the way that the blades for a rapier is measured, apparently, is you put the, you measure from the ground to your navel. So from there, with my height, that equals out to a 43 inch blade. So uh, I already marked that and gave a little bit of room left for the guard, actually a lot of room, uh, for the guard. I'm going to probably use PVC. So now I'm going to start on my tip for my rapier. And I'm going to use this tapered end. This broom handle has a tapered end and a rounded end. I would use this end, but it has a little hole right there. So, uh, no big deal. I'm just going to use the tapered end. But what I'm going to do is, because this is squared off corners right there, which I don't like. Two things I don't like in a practice sword, and that is squared off corners and points. So now I'm going to round this part off right here, and then we will see how it looks from there. Here's the tip I came up with. Like I said, what it is is we don't want a point, and we don't want a squared corner. So this right here will be a good shape for this. So next I'm going to be taking a saw and cutting off the excess right here. So let's do that part, then we'll carry on from there. So, I've cut this part here off now. Now, that's going to be the length of my blade. Now I'm going to be making my hilt. And this will be pretty much done. I want the pommel to be rounded, just like the we did on the end of the blade. Now we're going to make the hilt from a piece of PVC. So what I'm going to do is heat this up and form it. I cut it, and then I cut it this way. So I'm going to heat this up, form it, and I'm going to drill holes so it can slide on here, and then we'll see how it looks from there. I have the guard made. I made a PVC. Uh, normally, of course, for a rapier, they are much thinner, but it has to be big enough to be strong on this. So now I'm going to drill the holes into this, and we are going to mount this on here, and we will see how it looks. Now I'm going to slip this on. Mine requires a little bit of tapping on. So, it's on there now. I'm getting really happy with the way that's looking. Now just a little bit of tape on the handle. Tape's on the grip now. I have to say, I'm really liking the way this is feeling. So, I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to be stopping doing Japanese swordsmanship. I just want to have a little bit of fun and variety in my sword training. So, I hope this was entertaining for you guys to watch. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!